Walmart series. In my first part of the series, I shared vegan pantry staples and snacks that you can pick up at Walmart. And in this part two, I will be sharing vegan milk, yogurt, and dairy alternatives that you can find at Walmart, vegan frozen foods, and vegan meat substitutes, and some produce. We were super impressed and surprised by Walmart selection. So, let's get started. I got two unsweetened almond milks because Almond milk is a staple for every vegan, right? And we are so excited to try these oat milks. Um, these are a new product at my local Walmart. I know everyone on social media right now is freaking out about oat milk. So, oh yeah, we're ready to try it. I got chocolate and plain unsweetened. And I also found silk almond milk yogurts and silk soy yogurts. I prefer soy, but my husband likes the chocolate one. It is like dark chocolate coconut. So I got vanilla, mango, peach, and blueberry. I love the vanilla and blueberry ones. They are delicious, and my kid's favorite is the peach. So if you see them in your local Walmart, definitely pick them up. And I also found Earth Balance. Also at Walmart, they had avocado oil and coconut oil, um, based margarines or spreads, whatever, vegan butters. But Earth Balance and Miyoko's are our two favorites. Miyoko's is harder to find, and it's like twice the price. So yeah, we usually have Earth Balance in our fridge. So that does it for the dairy substitutes. I also found carrot juice to make our bunny spice smoothies with. I will leave the recipe for that below. Yum! In the produce section, I just got organic celery, cucumbers, mango, bananas, lemons. Nothing like too special, but the prices were good, so I picked them up. I also got kale and romaine lettuce because I am a greens girl. I love my greens. I feel better when I eat a lot of greens, and I feel satisfied, and yeah. I also bought a giant bag of cuties because my oldest son loves them and I also like to put them in smoothies. I make a creamy vegan orange basil green smoothie that is to die. I will leave that recipe below. I also got a big bag of uh, baby carrots just because we like to eat them raw just like a snacks or with hummus, whatevs. Um, and I also give them to the boys before bed as a bedtime snack to kind of clean their teeth. Apples and carrots are very crunchy and they do a good job of cleaning your kids' teeth before you brush them at night. So yeah, bonus. I also got a bag of vegan gold potatoes, like Yukon Golds, and I am so excited. They were four bucks, I think. They may have, they may have been like $3.50, but anyway. At my local grocery, they are always $5 unless they're on sale, and they are never on sale. So I'm super stoked about these because yeah, potatoes and rice are definitely big staples for me. I just got some conventional bananas. Usually I do splurge for organic, but they were all green, and I am not about a green banana. If you saw my first What a Normal Vegan Eats in a Day video, you know how green bananas make me feel. Just We won't even talk about it here. What else? Oh, yeah, okay, I've never tried these, but they are called Frida's Egg Roll Wrappers, and they are actually egg-free. So I'm about to make some vegan spring rolls at home. So also, in the produce section, they have a bunch of vegan meat substitutes, and I just got my husband's favorite um, tofurkey Italian sausages. These are the best. Yeah, the field roast are okay. Tofurkey, the best we've tried in 14 years since we first went vegan. And then I also got tofurkey smoky maple tempeh bacon, which I've actually never tried. So yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think about that in another video after we try it. But even if it doesn't taste like real bacon, it just looks good. It's like a savory salad topping or like to make like an avocado sandwich or something. I think that's all of the refrigerated foods. Let's move on to the frozen foods. These are always good. My husband loves Asian food. It's probably his favorite type of food. So I picked up some of these General Sal, these Sweet Earth General Sal's tofu bowls for him. They are frozen. I got him two of these and we've never tried them, but again, we will let you know. I was just Dope to see something like this for four bucks. So I found these Taipei mini vegetable spring rolls in the freezer and they're vegan. These are self-explanatory. Do I really need to explain why I bought spring rolls? That's just like a given, like it's spring rolls. If it's vegan, you grab that. Shite. <laughs> Speaking of spring rolls and delicious Asian things, have you guys heard? Panda Express has so many vegan options now, finally. Yeah, who's excited? So I will be doing at some point a vegan Panda Express 
you know, something. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss it when we upload it. We've got a lot of fun things coming up. Remember, uh, if you're new here, uh, we just renewed our Disney passes. I will be doing Disney vlogs for the next year at all four parks, at vegan at Disney, and like where to find good vegan breakfast and vegan lunch and you know, vegan whatever. So yeah, stay tuned for that for sure. They also had a good selection of Guardian products, and these are like our new favorite right now, or like our current favorite. You can't, there are no bad Guardian products. I'm gonna link my top four Guardian products video below. Love them. These seven grain crispy tenders are really good, and this is my husband's current favorite, Mandarin Orange Crispy Vegan Chicken. Amazing. And then we just got some frozen mango because yeah, you can never have enough frozen mango. So that is it for today's video. I'm gonna link part one below if you missed it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.